it in the oven and make our own uh, decorations and animals and whatever you feel like making. So what we have is flour, water, salt and oil. And you just, we'll give you the measurements on this video. So, put in the oil, all the salt. And all you do is you mix that up and you knead it with your hands. So you need to start mixing with a spoon. And then one, once you've mixed it as much as you can with the spoon, get your hand in there. And it does make a mess. So please don't wear your best clothes or, or wreck your mom's kitchen. As you're mixing, press down with the back of the spoon and give it a stir and press with the back of the spoon and give it a stir. And when you look when it looks like you can't mix any more with the spoon, get rid of the spoon and squeeze it together with your hands. And what should happen is it starts to stick together like dough. So take this ball of dough and wipe the sides of the bowl and get all the flour off. And just keep doing this until it's mixed and it's in one nice neat blob that there's no bits lying in the bottom of the bowl. It's a little bit of a workout so you won't need to go to gym on this day. And then once it's all nicely together and there's no little bits left, just squeeze it into a ball. Squeeze all the air out. Just like you would with clay. And then it's ready to use. So now you need some wax paper and you tear some of it and have the, the, just give it a feel and the waxy slippery side you have facing up and you just line your tray with the wax paper and then you can take your dough and go start sculpting. Okay so give your dough another squeeze when you're ready to use it and then to test it break a little piece, roll it into a ball and roll it out. And if it rolls nice and smoothly and you have no problems, you can go ahead and use it. But if it's too crumbly, add a drop of water and mix again. And if it's too wet and sticky that you can't mold it, then just sprinkle a bit of flour over and keep doing that until it's the right consistency to use. See, like that there, it's a bit too crumbly. Let me just mix in the moisture a bit more. I think this will be fine. So we're going to start off with an octopus. So I'm going to break four evenly sized pieces and obviously not exact because I'm not a machine, you're just guessing. And each of these pieces you're going to roll into a ball and then squish out into a sausage by rolling it like this and get it as long as you can. It can't be too fat because these are going to be the octopus's legs. So now I've rolled out the legs and what we do is we curl them around and we just create interesting shapes and crisscross them over so it makes the eight octopus legs. And where they join, just press it down a bit. But we're going to curl each leg in a different shape. Just be creative with this part. Because octop octopuses, and apparently it's not octopi, that is incorrect, it's octopuses. They have legs all over the place. So let's really make them interesting. I have to move this one up to fit the last one in. So it just creates a really interesting shape with the legs. And in the middle where they join, just squish it down a bit. And that looks good to me. And then what you're going to do is take a blob and make the head. And you roll it into a ball. And then you're going to squish it a little bit and shape into a little bit of a squished abo kind of shape round the head nicely 
and then you have it heavy side up so the nice round dome is on the top and you squish that into the body like that and then just get rid of your fingerprints and round it off nicely then you're going to take two little blobs roll them into balls get them nicely squished break a little piece off for the eyeball that's actually too big I'm gonna put some back so you're going to roll these into balls and squish on for the eyes so they're nice and 3d and sticking out This one's crumbling a bit. I think I needed a bit more oil in my dough. Okay, so you squish it on. And then you make two little pupils. And when you paint this, you do those little dots in the middle black. And you can do the octopus eyes yellow. And paint your octopus however you like. Paint them whatever color you like. And then picking them up is a bit tricky but it's actually better to build him in the tray.